so hello guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is villa mama yes the only villa to the mama and this is villa mama tv on today's video we will be talking about the various agents who were all involved in the whole alleged uk scam with mama Talaku involving her husband Epia aim global remember in our last video i promised us i was going to bring to you guys the names of the companies and the other agents who were involved in this whole charade and trust me guys i kept to my promise and i'm here to give you guys all the gist so stay tuned because i have so much more coming your way <music> in our last video we were so happy we had attained the state of euphoria knowing that our sister Delhi show was able to recover six million out of the seven million francs cfa she had given to visa agents to procure a visa for her to go to the uk so she took to her social media on the 30th of may to thank her fans to thank platforms and she started mentioning names calling out platforms who were there for her who stood for her raised their voices and <laughs> social media in laws were like auntie <laughs> this one that you are writing names like that <laughs> if you write some names and you leave out some other names <laughs> they will come for you or alpha so auntie was like okay i'm going to make another video i'm going to come on live to thank everybody who raised their voices in a bit to fight for justice to see that i recover my money <laughs> but the social media in-laws did not just end there <laughs> they were so concerned that why out of your seven million you've received only six million where is the remaining one million <laughs> they were so unhappy they were still not happy they were still asking where is the remaining one million it was seven million so where is the remaining one million so delis finally she made a live video where she addressed and thanked everybody for having been there stood for her and finally she received her money <laughs> and then she now posted this video as no, 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 no. No, 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 no. again <laughs> they were like auntie <laughs> money not enter now bank alert your alert has alerted and you are now dancing you are jubilating you're not crying again after you must do giveaway <laughs> you must give our own share of that money you must do us a giveaway so social media in-laws were like okay we fought for you and now you've received your money you're dancing and you have not even done a giveaway you've not appreciated us <laughs> so delis now made a live show and she cleared that up Posting the video also, but anyway, I get it. It's, yeah, I was excited, so I just posted because it has to do with bank alert. Bank alert. <laughs> as the alert channel, now I say my post cozy, cozy. <laughs> you can I know you gave me that chance. So see, I was just over happy. And then she had to explain to her fans this was just an old video which i just reposted because after <laughs> i don't get bank alert credit alert it wasn't a debit alert like it was before you understand so but then it's clear the air and this is what she had to say voices were were oh my god your voices were i mean it was in my head like oh, kuru, 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 kuru. your voices were loud mama atalaku and her husband they had made this payment from their pockets and all the other agents who were involved in this whole charade they had reached out to her trying to calm down things because they had seen how they were being bullied on social media insulted and called scammers on social media so they were able to reach out to them to calm down the situation but mama atalaku and her husband they could not sit back and just watch them suffer alone when one of the agents couldn't even reach out to them to even condone with them or to even console them they were left with no choice but to expose him on the 30th of may 2024 when i woke up early in the morning i took one chewing gum and threw it in my mouth as i was chewing i came across this post mama Talaku made and her husband also shared the same post 
on his platform. Good morning, Mr. Tambe Pride. It is rather unfortunate I'll have to start doing this out of my husband's will. But as you see, it, it is. But as you see it. <sighs> Good morning, Mr. Tambe Pride. It is rather unfortunate I'll have to start doing this out of my husband's will. But as you see, it is what it is. This is the third day of my husband and I being dragged on social media and most of the agents we have failed businesses has called us to calm the situation except you. So unfortunately, I will have to start exposing you guys one after the other. You have watched them call us thieves, scammers and all the derogatory names but we decided to keep calm hoping covering some of you people will bring us the monies. I understand that it might not also be your fault that what happened actually happened but as it stands all struggles to recover people's money has gone futile and since it is now 100 percent clear that we will continue paying from our pockets as we've paid almost 70 million by ourselves i therefore promise to post all of you with proofs of payment both videos and receipts as hiding you people at the bank won't still give us the monies we've paid if we have migrated 100 people to uk at least 60 came from you it was a smooth business but again we are we are done taking the bullets with no hopes on receiving anything either from you or the company you connected us to that latter to the company you connected us to that latter blocked us below below is mr tambe's right contact details the company and proof of money is paid in his account and then the post continues as time goes on we will post all the agents and receipts if they all don't keep to their words of refunding the monies those of you who were shouting lawyers up and down we are very much open to use your lawyers on the employers directly if the monies will be recovered we have paid so many people from our pockets and still paying which is a loss to us but again it is what it is in all mr pride has pending twenty one thousand five hundred pounds equivalent to 17 million frank serfa note i'm not posting this for your pity it's already a communication gone wrong so let's all face it so guys when i saw that post i was appalled so i had to jump in on my table and do some little research remember that in our previous video i had promised us to bring to you guys the companies because these were the questions that we were asking because mr ipa kept saying that company 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 but he was not mentioning any company's name so he and the wife decided to start bringing them out and the first company they brought out was so the partnership healthcare group limited was the first company by mr tambe pride that they decided to bring to us on social media <laughs> at least we are getting somewhere right <laughs> they started answering our questions right so Mato Laku and husband brought out mr tambe saying that mr tambe is one of the agents they worked with and all the other agents called them and condoned with them because they were dragged on social media they called to show some concern but mr tambe paid less attention like he was not part of it like he washed his hands off so they were left with no choice but to expose him so when mr tambe saw the heat <laughs> he could not take the heat so he immediately went to social media and dropped this video uh, thanks very much as uh, when i hear which with this kind of going for social media when I, as bloggers and when i try to get in contact with people know which way to go on I don't send you the two refusal letters the way now the last year is when my mama tell her we too we he claim the money. But I don't see people that they talk say uh, they give money they don't ever give the COS or wait wait. The last some of me and mama tell her we do a big problem being at these two COS them we he take them from field. Then by the time they can they go to embassy they will revoke field license and how they revoke field the field license. Now some of the people they mama tell her they come under mama tell her we call money for them thirty million forty million and pay them up. No tell them say. What no they would feel. The people they can enter UK, start report feel. Few contact me, say they don't they report the company. Uh, say my people they are bringing and they report the company. I write my mother, like, I tell you, say, your yeah, people they report feel, say, you know, get uh, work. So, unfortunately, for the other two candidates, by the time they submit their document, them, they don't revoke feel the license already, so they cancel their, they don't give them uh, visa. But the two people in that. 
So no matter which way they claim for social media, I don't understand. If you don't take people their money, enrich yourself here, you must have buy your range over them. Yeah. They work and live their life for UK. Let the people who hold her responsible. May not the one for try for tarnish different people with their image. Yeah, Mama Talaku would do more than 100 CEOs them. See them go well. And every CEO is what they do on Mama Talaku. They tell you whether I work there or not. I took my time to do investigation about the CEOs before I take them. Kobo's one council. I tell you, say Kobo's CEOs no get yeah, problem. Uh, yeah. uh, no get work. This same again. Again, Kobo's carry show he's true. Because if they do, if they do business, they hide them for me. No time, me say Kobo's the kind of family. Here the carry show he's true. The whole Kobo's they wake up me by the holy day, early hours of the morning. I'm not be the UK. Yeah. I was in Canada. They wake up me. Oh, Early hours. Oh, I wake well. up, answer that call. I sorted it out with the middle effect. I do everything they enter. Yeah, Same yeah. like other people, they be entered. They carry show each other. They question them and sort them out. So if today, thing they don't hear, you want turn because you don't enrich yourself. They want turn to blame for people that they are scared. No, no, no. Now me we post them. No. Let that be realistic. How you do business? How you do business? It collect 12, uh, 12 million, 13 million for people. Them. When I ask you whether I collect even up to 10,000 pounds for it for COS. Your friend they call me, they ask, say, Mama tell her, could they take now how much of the pay the way they bring them? I say, I know if you talk, now a bleach of confidentiality, I know if you talk, wait with me, I hear the deal. But if things go wrong, make sure you understand. They, even they feel the company is under investigation, the money not do me, they be paid for the COS. So we don't report the company, they're investigating them, and we are doing everything to retrieve the money. If it go, uh, the people that work at home say, take money, no give it. It's me that people, them. May they write me, may they take my number, 65004-8542. 65004-8542. May they write me for WhatsApp. Give me their names, and man, look at whether their name, they don't have a future for my list of my mother, like I said, now. If you don't have a future, then I will tell them. I'll be very straightforward. I know they go for back, back for do business. I'm very straightforward when it comes to the COS business because I know what it takes. How much people they say, say property, they come for travel, go UK. So I know if you play with people, their life. In that video, <laughs> he was still like, I have done so many visas for people. I have brought many people to the UK. We have done so many businesses together. So if it's just this one field business that you rush to call me a scammer. And Nomad Laku immediately or quickly came in defense and said, I didn't call you a scammer. I only said you were not so much so concerned. You, you didn't show so much concern like the other agents. Some of them are hiding behind the scenes because they claim that they have a reputation to keep, to protect. But we have been dragged on social media, my husband and I, our names have been rubbed in the mud. They showed concern, but you were quiet. So I decided to post you as one of the agents who were involved in all of this. I did not call you a scammer. The second company that was exposed was the Red Swan Company of one Mrs. Gina Tambi. Mrs. Gina Tambi is resident in London and it is said that she also had this company running from the 13th of April 2023 and 10 months after the company closed down, she had declared bankruptcy because she knew that all of these things, when they will come up, she will be asked to refund people's monies and if the company doesn't exist anymore, she will not be held liable for any reimbursements. So she was smart to have declared bankruptcy. But before she could declare bankruptcy, she was already in the business of bringing people in the UK and she was also taking huge sums of money from people. So apparently she had already made a lot of money from it, just like they are accusing Mama Atalaku and husband that their lavish lifestyle, all the big meat, the Range Rover, the houses, the properties, all the things that they have acquired, they got it from people's monies. So it was the same for Mrs. Gina Tambi. Rumors have it that she went to Cameroon and opened up a morgue, like a mortuary in Tiko. And she was able to have done this out of people's monies that she had collected from them to procure them visas to move to the UK. So this was just a scheme where they had planned everything out and they were just executing everything and just swindling people of their hard-earned monies just to enrich themselves and for their personal gains. And it is said that when their victims start asking for a refund, they will block you and they will deny having anything to do with you. So was the case with Mr. Epier when he blocked Delis's show. And so was the case also with Mrs. Gina Tambi. She blocked a lot of her clients, denying knowing them, denying ever doing any business with them. The victims were left with no choice but to hang on to Mama Atalako and her husband Epier because they have a name and a reputation on social media to protect. And according to Mama Atalako, they've been able, out of the 27 people that they had failed businesses with, they have been able to sort out everybody except for four 
four people left for them to sort them out and refund their monies. And all of these, they've been paying from their personal pockets. They've spent over 70 million francs CFA. They've sold properties, they've sold houses, landed properties, just to be able to raise people's money, to be able to refund their victims or their clients' money because it was a failed business. Mama Atalaku, <laughs> she came on live after the first agent, Mr. Tambe, gave her a blast. She came back and gave him a boost <laughs> because according to the social media law, for every bus received on social media, there must be a corresponding boost. <laughs> so Mama Tolako came on social media and she said she is giving all the other agents six months, six months for them to refund all the 70 million that she has been able to pay the victims from her pocket. That if they don't refund those monies, she will be left with no choice but to bring back this case on social media and she will be posting and exposing all of the agents who were involved in this scam. Because according to her, a lot of them called and begged. They were crying and begging, please don't expose my wife. Please don't expose my husband. Please, we have a reputation to keep. And Mata Atalaku was like, uh-uh. So you now get reputation. Now, now you now get reputation. So me and my husband call. Our own reputation has been dragged to the mud. Are we going to remain in that mud? I give you guys six months to refund our 70 million francs CFA. If not, I will be posting all of you with all the evidences, the transfers, and everything. She went further to say that none of the monies was paid into her account name or into her husband's name. They had transferred it directly to their various agents. And that could have been a clean case for them to go to any court of law and defend themselves. That, okay, you claim we owe you money. Can you show your proof of transfer? Because the money didn't come directly into my name or to my husband's name. Makes sense, right? That could have been a very good way to just escape smoothly out of this. But Mama Atulaku and her husband, they were responsible enough. They owned up and they decided to pay people from their pockets just to save them their stress, to save their name, to save their reputation on social media, to have their peace of mind and also for their, their mental state. That was how they were able to pay their victims and they refunded their monies. And even the one million that people were asking that Dennis, your money was seven million, why did you receive six? It appears that they had come to a compromise that Dennis should lose one million and get back her six million. I received six M, I received six M K, one M is fly away fly away that's business for us is you cannot recover everything it takes the grace of god to even recover what i recover so guys in order not to make this video very lengthy there are a lot of controversies that came up in the course of this whole scam issue or saga so i will be bringing it to you guys in another video the giveaway controversy Roy Mama controversy, Yaki Bella controversy, Sakis controversy, and a whole lot. So guys, stay tuned and watch this video and like this video. Drop all your thoughts, your feelings down below in the comment section. Do you think it was right, it was proper for the visa agent, Mr. Tambe Pride, to have stayed less concerned, like this whole thing didn't concern him because he was not, like his face was not on the media. He stayed behind, he stayed at the background and let Mama Atalaku being dragged on social media without even giving them a phone call to condone with them or to even console them. Do you think that was also right on Mr. Tambe's part? Do you also think that Mama Atalaku paying all of this from her pockets to save her name, to save her family name, do you think that was the right thing to do? Because had it been uh, they went to court or something. The court will just ask you, how do you think you can start paying this money? And you will tell the court, okay, I can start paying maybe one, one pound every month. One, one pound every month. That's going to take you like 100 years to pay back that money. That's how it works. And you receive that money in peanuts. You'll not be able to do anything with it. So do you think it was the right thing for Mata Laku to have just given them the whole lump sum at once? Or they should have dragged the case and go to court so they can make a payment plan for every month. So whatever your thoughts, your opinions are, you can feel free to drop them down below in the comment section. Trust me guys, I am bringing the other segment of this video, the giveaway controversy and a whole lot more. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Villa Mama and this is Villa Mama TV. Stay tuned. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do me a favor and subscribe. You like and you share the video. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.